hello and welcome to this special video. Today I'm flying Cafe Pacific's first Airbus A350 1000 inaugural commercial flight from Hong Kong to Taipei and I'm going to check out their brand new economy class. Come join me on CX484. As I'm a One World Sapphire member, I'm allowed to use the business class check-in counters at Hong Kong airport. I wasn't going to come here as I do not have a checked-in baggage, but I want a physical boarding pass for this very special flight, so here I am. I went through immigration and security after checking in, and I'm now on my way to Cathay's The Pier Business Class Lounge. This was where the Cabin Business Class Lounge was located. Check out my friend Marco Polo Club Fly's video. He was invited by Cathay to visit this lounge, which was special to him. Delta has recently announced that it would stop flying to Hong Kong. Currently, Delta flies daily from Seattle to Hong Kong. I had an awesome flight with Delta when they used to fly Tokyo to Hong Kong. It was a very sad news for Hong Kong aviation geeks. After about 15 minutes of speed walking, I'm here at the pier. The Pier Business Class Lounge is the biggest lounge that Cathay has. This is the main food hall. Then if you walk a bit inside, you've got some comfy chairs to sit and a bar. One thing that you definitely can't miss visiting a Cathay lounge is the noodle bar. I got a wonton noodle soup and a delicious pan fried pork bun. One thing I really like about the pier is that they have charging points literally everywhere, even at the dining tables. After eating some lunch, it's time to have a shower. Look, there's a charging point even in the shower room. The amenities are well presented here. ESOP products are available in this lounge. I took a nice cold shower here. Hong Kong is really hot, like 33 degrees. This is the tea house. You'll only see this in the pier. Obviously, they've got some good tea. And snacks then can complement well with the tea. I got myself some egg tart and chocolate brownie, which were both really good. And I also ordered a pot of Earl Grey. These chairs are really comfortable. And look, more charging points. Ah, I love it. The pier has got some amazing tarmac view. That's a Air Canada Boeing 777-200LR landing. Here's a Cathay Boeing 777-300ER wearing the spirit of Hong Kong livery. And look at that, that's the sneaky Airbus A350-1000. A lot of AV geeks here. This it's BLXA, a two months old A350-1000, which only got delivered to Cathay 10 days ago. I'll shut up so you can enjoy this view.
Taipei will soon be ready for general boarding. At this time, we would like to invite passengers with disabilities, any passengers requiring extra time or assistance for boarding, and passengers traveling with infants to come forward. We would also like to extend a warm welcome to our first class, business class, and premium economy class passengers, Marco Polo Club, and One World Emerald Survive members, and invite you to board at your leisure. Will our remaining passengers please have your boarding passes and passports ready? We will be calling you shortly. As you board the airport, please present your boarding pass to the coming room for verification. Thank you. How is it happy now? April. April. Thank you. Now, priority boarding for One World Emerald members. There are a bunch of them. This is premium economy class in a 242 layout. Each seat offers a seat pitch of 40 inches and a seat width of 20 inches. Also, they all come with a leg rest. Economy class is in a standard 333 configuration. These brand new economy class seats are different to the ones on Airbus A350-900 and are made by Haeckel, a Hong Kong company. Each seat offers a seat pitch of 32 inches and a seat width of 18 inches. I found the recline here being more generous than the ones on A330 and 777. The headrest is really good and comfortable. It's designed to support your head better. Let me show you some seat features. Under the TV, there's a storage compartment for your small items. Then here we've got a foldable tray table. A USB port right there. The TV itself is adjustable. A seat pocket with a little bit extra storage and decent leg room. Between every two seats, there's a universal power socket. Headphone jack is on the armrest. Brand new aircraft. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> 
that seat, 60A where I'm pointing at, is probably the best economy class seat. It's a window seat with direct aisle access. Right behind my seat, there are three lavatories. Let's go into one of them. It just looks and smells really good here. The TV is 11.1 inches big. The touchscreen is extremely responsive. It reminds me of Qantas because they both work a bit like an iPad. A Cathay personnel told me that Cathay is the only airline with Android embedded in their in-flight entertainment system. Now I am very impressed by how much thing we can actually watch. Lots of movies, lots of news, lots of everything. The flight map system is an interactive one, a bit like the ones on British Airways and Japan Airlines. There are two external cameras, one at the belly and one at the top. The cabin crew are handing out arrival card for Taiwan. I got forced. Yeah. You're, you're going just for the flight, and I got forced onto the flight. <laughs> I want nothing more to be done flying. While I was filming, I realized there are more seat features like this phone holder here. Welcome aboard to this inaugural flight of the uh, Airbus A350-1000. This is flight 484 to Taipei. Our flight time today of 1 hour and 20 minutes. Um, weather conditions are generally fine en route. However, there's just some uh, rain showers and um, some light thunderstorms passing through the Hong Kong area at the moment. That unfortunately has led to some delays from air traffic control and we've been told to we need to sit and wait here for about uh, 25 to 30 minutes while they uh, deal with some congestion in the area. So my apologies, the first time today we uh, are running a little bit late but we'll be on our way as quick as we can. Air flight service manager today is Rachel, she'll introduce herself in a few moments. She's got some very important information to tell you about this A350-1000 aircraft. Please give her your full attention. Uh, once we're on the way, I uh, won't disturb you until we get close to the top of the set. Uh, from there, uh, I'll give you an update of the weather conditions for arrival into Taipei. So in the meantime, uh, sit back and relax, and once again, from the flight deck, uh, we'll come on board. Now, 
講係好重要。原正為你指示逃生出口。Please take a look at your safety card for what to do in the unlikely event of an emergency. Now available on our new A350. Aircon is centralized, and you can switch on the reading light by pressing the button. Uh, there is still quite a bit of weather out uh, just on the other side of Lantau Island for our departure, so there will be still further delays. Uh, at this stage, we've been told it's probably going to be another 45 minutes when we will uh, uh, change to uh, we'll start our pushback. If you'd like to use your telephones, um, if you have them close by, please feel free to. We'll turn the mobile sign on when we're ready to push back. If there's any change to this, I'll certainly update. Thank you for your patience. Finally, there's mood lighting in the economy.
，閣下無需使用此項服務，請關掉數據功能。詳情請親，已代賣嘅説明卡。請注意喺紅機內唔可以使用有語音通話，同時為咗其他乘客著想，請將電子用品調校至靜音模式。為保障閣下嘅安全，俾人期間請將安全帶扣於毛線上。Okay, so that's everything in the seat pocket. There's a waste bag, a discovery magazine, an in-flight shopping catalog, a safety card, of course, and a leaflet of how to use the Wi-Fi on board. And unfortunately, it's payable. Despite this being a very short flight, just a bit over an hour, there's a complimentary snack and drink. So the drinks and snacks are all in the bag. This is the pastry. There's a Anzac cookie, lemon tea, and some tissue inside that paper thingy. This chicken pastry is really, really good. Before landing, there's a video about arrival in Taiwan. Look, the window is really, really big. With the cabin crew, please be seated for landing. Thank you. Such an awesome flight with Cathay Pacific. I couldn't believe I was on this A350 1000 inaugural flight. 
The seat was very comfortable on this plane. I found cushion and headrest extremely soft and comfy. The in-flight entertainment system is extensive and it's very well prepared for you if you're flying long haul. Cathay will launch Hong Kong to Washington route with this beauty, 18 hours long and I don't think it will be a big problem. Congratulations Cathay for receiving and operating this brand new aircraft. I look forward for my next trip with Cathay which is in 2 hours on CX565 to Hong Kong. See you later on CX565 to Hong Kong.